The Road to Reparations, French President at the United Nations. Dear distinguished delegates, I stand before you today, April 30th, 2023, as the President of the French Republic, to express my deepest apologies to the African nations and peoples who were affected by France's colonial past. We recognize the harm and damage caused by our actions, and we are committed to making amends for the wrongs committed during that period. To the people of Algeria, I apologize for the harm caused by our colonization. We acknowledge the historical injustices committed during that period, as well as the pain and trauma that we continue to cause. We pledge to work towards healing and reconciliation with the Algerian people and to foster a new relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. To the people of Benin, we deeply regret the harm caused by France's abhorrent actions. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the deep scars left by colonialism. We apologize for the damage done and commit to working towards a new relationship with the people of Benin based on absolute respect. To the people of Burkina Faso, we apologize for the harm caused by France's repugnant colonization. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the deep scars left behind by our evil deeds. We pledge to work towards atonement because words alone is not enough. To the people of Cameroon, we express our deepest apologies for the generational harm caused by France's atrocious actions. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the cruelty you experienced through colonialism. We seek forgiveness not only in words, but also through the actions we take in the future. To the people of Central African Republic, we express our deepest apologies for the lack of human rights resulting from France's sickening participation. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the unforgivable treatment you endured through colonialism. We apologize for the damage done and commit to working towards a new relationship with the people of Central African Republic based on cooperation. To the people of Chad, we apologize for the devastation caused by France's brutal colonization. We take responsibility for the exploitation of your resources and culture and the draconian treatment you endured through colonialism. We apologize for the damage done and commit to working towards a new relationship with the people of Chad based on respect. To the people of Comoros, we apologize for the callous disregard of your rights during France's hideous colonization. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the devilish treatment you endured through colonialism. We apologize for the damage done and commit to working towards a new relationship with the people of Comoros based on respect. To the people of Côte d'Ivoire, we deeply regret the harm caused by France's inhumane acts of colonization. We acknowledge the exploitation and horror you endured through colonialism. We apologize for the damage done and commit to working towards a new relationship with the people of Côte d'Ivoire, based on absolute respect. To the people of Djibouti, we apologize for the harm caused by France's despicable colonization of your country. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the ugly scars left by colonialism. We pledge to work towards healing and reconciliation with the people of Djibouti and to fostering a new relationship based on mutual respect and cooperation. To the people of Guinea, I apologize for the devastation caused by our barbaric colonization we acknowledge the historical injustices committed during that period, as well as the pain and trauma that we continue to cause. We pledge to work towards healing and reconciliation with the people of Guinea and to foster a new relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. 
To the people of Madagascar, we deeply regret the harm caused by France's abhorrent actions. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the festering scars left by colonialism. We apologize for the damage done and commit to working towards a new relationship with the people of Madagascar based on absolute respect. To the people of Mali, we apologize for the injustices caused by France's repugnant colonization. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the constant reminders left behind by our evil deeds. We pledge to work towards atonement because words alone is not enough. To the people of Senegal, we express our deepest apologies for the generational poverty caused by France's atrocious actions. We acknowledge the exploitation of your resources and culture and the cruelty you experienced through colonialism. We seek forgiveness not only in words but also through the actions we take in the future. During France's colonial period in Africa, a significant amount of natural resources, cultural artifacts, and human labor were taken from the African nations. Some of the natural resources we stole includes gold, diamonds, oil, timber, and minerals. Some of the cultural artifacts we stole includes precious art, sculptures, and manuscripts. We also seized vast amounts of land, displacing local populations and disrupting traditional ways of life. As for human labor, we forcibly brought millions of Africans to work as slaves in French colonies for agriculture and mining. While it is difficult to provide an exact dollar figure we gained from colonizing Africa, some estimates suggest that it's in the range of hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars. For example, in 2008, the French economist Jacques Marseille estimated that France's colonial empire in Africa had generated a total net profit of 210 billion US dollars between 1880 and and 1960. Another estimate by the Senegalese economist Ndongo Samba Silla in 2018 suggested that we could owe as much as 17 trillion US dollars. You can argue each estimate may be biased. However, if we take the average of these two estimates, we would arrive at a figure of approximately 8.6 trillion dollars. While no accurate value can be placed on human life and suffering, we believe that this should be the minimum figure to begin reparation negotiations with. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate paying reparations to each African country that was colonized is a fair action to apologize for what our country did and support their economic development. It should start by engaging in open, and constructive dialogue with the affected nations to ensure that the reparations and development efforts are implemented effectively and sustainably. I thank you. France is experiencing the United States throwing it under the bus. This is as it relates to what's going on in Ukraine. Africa is kicking France to the curb and happening at a time when Russia is asserting itself militarily and morally internationally, morally aligning with Africa, especially with regards to homosexuality. France alone does not have the resources to pay the $8 trillion in reparations. This means a coalition of European states, those involved in what France did in Africa, and the transatlantic slave crimes, including the United States, must atone. What forced France to state what its president is saying at the United Nations? First, 
they are being kicked out of Africa. And second, Russia is cutting them off from key Russian resources. As two former French leaders once said, France would be a poor country without its exploits in Africa. China has an iron grip on key resources in Africa as Russia make inroads in Africa. It is the beginning of a new day.